The Church, bringing the gospel to your doorstep. Campus project where we help girls understand how to do their career. So for me, this is another passion that has been added to my ministry. I solemnly declare that I shall truthfully perform my duties and exercise the functions entrusted to me as of the United Nations Association discretion and conscience, and that I shall discharge these functions and regulate my conduct with the interest of the UNACWCA fully in view and in accordance with the Constitution of the UNACWCA and the Code of Ethics without seeking or accepting any instructions in regard to the performance of my duties from any government or other source, or not directly or indirectly communicate or reveal to any person any matter which shall be brought under my consideration or shall come to the knowledge in the discharge of my official duties except as may be required for the discharge of my official duties or as may be specifically permitted by law so help me Thank you very much, Her Leadership Justice Afisata Amalibua of the Ghana High Court, and she is definitely a High Court judge. A round of applause for her, ladies and gentlemen. And then also to our Goodwill Ambassadors, a round of applause. The work has started, which means that as the theme for this event is empowering women and it equals to economic driver for the next generation. Most of us that are here will definitely support them as we move towards another wonderful part of this event, which will help us raise funds so that we can have something sitting in their coffers in time of need and in time that they have to embark on projects that would actually help to save quite a lot of people and especially women. Ladies and gentlemen, we are through with the swearing in and we would like to have one of them come on stage here, a more or less an acceptance speech from one of them to tell us what the feeling is like and also what is ahead of all of them. And I'd like to call on Mavis Amankwa, a round of applause for her. As we wait for me, we are not across the world on behalf of the UNA. 
it is with great honor and pleasure. And the great thing is, we have technology. And my message today is that we should use technology to do what we can to raise awareness of the affairs of women and young children. We should use technology to donate. We should use technology to show the great works that we are all going to be doing across the world. The great thing is we can all connect globally. I'm connecting. We use it in the house. <laughs> and um, when we got in, her leadership was out to take care of something very important. But then I quickly had to get a, a file that we had on your seat, or we can even give you some right away. Okay, I have the page here. You can come over. And her leadership will take you through. We just want to be sure so that when the story goes out, we know that you're officially an ambassador. Okay? Thank you. Solemnly declare, solemnly declare that I shall truthfully, that I shall truthfully perform my duties, perform my duties and exercise the functions, and exercise the functions entrusted to me, entrusted to me as of the United Nations Association, so the United Nations Association of Ghana Commission, of Ghana Commission for Women and Children Affairs, for Women and Children Affairs in all loyalty, in all loyalty discretion discretion and conscience and conscience and that i shall discharge these functions and i shall discharge these functions and regulate my conduct and regulate my conduct with the interest of with the interest of the unacwca <laughs> the unacwca only in view only in view and in accordance with the constitution and in accordance with the constitution of the unacwca of the UNACWCA and the code of conduct and the code of conduct and the code of ethics and the code of ethics without seeking or accepting without seeking or accepting any instruction any instruction in regard to the performance of my duties in regard to the performance of my duties from any government from any government or other source or other source external to the organization external to the organization congratulations thank you there's another oath which you must take, sir. <laughs> the oath of secrecy. Secrecy. So in similar fashion, you would raise your right hand. Okay. And you would say after me, I, you will mention your name, sir. I, Eugene Anna Kwame Malfo. Holding the office of? Holding the office of? You mentioned your designation. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, good boy, Ambassador. Oh, There's all the papers. So we'll take it again. Let's take it over again. So you would start to take this again. I, 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 you mentioned your I, name. Eugene, I'm my mouth for. Holding the office of, holding the office of, you mentioned your designation. One more time. Put in the office of Google Ambassador. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. Do in the name of the Almighty God swear. That I will not directly or indirectly. That I will not directly or indirectly. Communicate or reveal. Communicate or reveal. To any person. To any person. Any matter. Any matter. Which shall be brought under my consideration. Which shall be brought under my consideration. Or shall come to my knowledge. Or shall come to my knowledge. In the discharge of my official duties. In the discharge of my official duties. Except as may be required. Except as may be required. For the discharge of my official duties. For the discharge of my official duties. Or as may be specifically. Or as may be specifically. Permitted by law. Permitted by law. So help, so help me God. God. Thank you. All right. Congratulations to you, Bami Eugene. Thank you. So God will definitely help you. Ladies and gentlemen, quickly, we have one more person to go. Osia de your Nana Kumi Kodia the first, please. Thank you. 
proceed with the declaration. <laughs> I am to mention your name. I you mention your name. Elaine, you're in the house. I nearly forgot to mention you on stage. Good that you're on stage. All right, so, ladies and gentlemen, can we quickly get closer to where the... Jimaima, you can join them. Please, you can also join them on stage. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Together, we will count one to five, and then officially, they will cut the cake, and then the shelter project will be launched. What I want all of you to know is, as much as we are launching this project, you all saw the video and what it would take to actually get it done. There's something that we would ask of all of you. And when we get to that time, generously be with us and support us. So ladies and gentlemen, let me give them the opportunity to place their wonderful lightning effects that would Give us some great ambience. Let's take your time. Take your time. Um, can you take this thing off? Can you really take it off and leave the cake alone? Please, take it off. Please. The cake is for us. After we cut the cake, we will share it amongst us. And have a bit of the shelter project within us. That's good. Thank you. Please take it away. Dr. Aqua, you're going to hold the knife. Jemima Elaine. One. Oh, come on. Let's start over again. One, two, three, four, and then five. Here you go. Officially, the shelter projects. It's launched and it's part of the United Nations Association of Ghana Commission for Women and Children Affairs. This is the project for this year. The theme is definitely empowering women and also making sure that we complete the shelter projects. Thank you all very much. God bless. And all of you that stepped on stage, God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you for the music too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, solidarity messages. I think I will mention it. Should I mention, ladies and gentlemen? Should I? That's okay. Okay, I'll leave it so. Hello, Sissy. How are you? Good to see you. All right, and also, I'd like to acknowledge all of you. I mean, your presence. A round of applause for yourselves. The fact that we invited you and you made sure that you were here on time is just pleasing to all of us. Anyhow, um, let me talk to you about Joseph. So, God showed him that there was coming a day where the sun, the moon, and the eleven stars would bow down before him. But what happened? Because of jealousy, he was first thrown into a pit. Now, if you're if you go down into a pit, um, all you can see is the muck, the darkness that um, is contained in that pit. But I believe that while he was in that pit, God reminded him of that feature where he, he had the well being of the family emerged from that. And I can tell you, I stopped counting the amount of heads of government. Government officials, ambassadors, professors that I have prayed for, prophesied over. I have seen the hand of God. I've seen cancer milk. I've seen the lame walk, the dumb talk, blind see. So I want to say to you, take the lips, you know, all God. Once we do our part, the Lord God Almighty, the Father above, right? will step in with his supernatural power to make sure that the dream and the vision comes to pass. Distinguished Ghanaian blogger, Sam Felix is also right here in the house. <laughs> and then also, 
our respective and distinguished traditional chiefs in the house. In between time, I will definitely come over and introduce their titles to all of you so that we can duly and politely acknowledge the power that you wield over there. So you would kindly rise to your feet, please. If you are here, if you are joining virtually, you would rise to your feet and you would raise your right hand and you would repeat after me. And when I say I, you would say I and you will mention your name. The Church, bringing the gospel to your doorstep.